Hi, uh, I wanted to do a weekend report. I got here yesterday, as you saw in the video. I didn't know that we only worked Monday through Friday, so I'm just relaxing on a weekend here in this beautiful place. I will take photos. I want everyone to know that I'm not just secretly in my bedroom, uh, because that is what I would believe, I guess. Whatever, I'm skeptical. Anyway, so <clears throat> I am, it's midnight, and I'm guessing my host uh, family are sleeping. I don't want to talk too loud because I don't want to wake them up, although they're at the other side of the house. Um, but you know me. My voice is super loud, even in a whisper. I can never whisper. Everyone has always told me that, so uh, whatever. I don't get offended anymore. Um, so... I wanted to talk, just take it a little bit back and uh, really just, I don't think I've ever even said my name once. I'm not sure. And I think if you're watching this and you don't know me, it's super weird. So anyway, for those that do not know me, my name is Pearl. I'm not even sure if I said that. I guess I'm not in the span of a goldfish. Um, so yeah, my name is Pearl. I'm 25. I'm from the Bronx. I... Um, in New York City and um, so basically I'm just writing this or I'm writing and blogging and blogging uh, about me um, trying to lose this weight and train to walk the entire Appalachian Trail um, so because I haven't done much I mean today was a really strenuous day I worked out in the morning uh, which was a lot of weightlifting, and I tried to work the treadmill, but their treadmill was off, and I, I get really bored really quickly, so I just walked away. But I did strength train, which was great, um, and I spent an hour and a half in the barn taking every box from my um, my host. Um, Annie, I took every box from her car and I took it up into the attic in the barn. It was ridiculous. I hate steps. I don't care if I was thin or obese, I will always hate steps. So the fact that I had to be all tough, like I do this every day and, and don't worry, I got it. So it was horrible. It was horrible. Just taking my own body weight up steps is one thing, <laughs> but I took it up with boxes, heavy ass boxes. I um, almost died. I was sweating so much and it was like coming out of everywhere and I went through so many bottles of water, but it was good. I f my legs are killing me. My back is killing me. My arms hurt. I have my breathing. My breath is just shallow and... <laughs> It was just a mess, but I felt really good. Um, I didn't have to do anything, but I don't want, I'm here for a reason, you know, so I didn't want to do nothing. Uh, so I was really excited to help her. She was so skeptical. She was like, are you sure you got it? Don't hurt yourself. No, 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 put it down we'll, we'll, we'll to bring it up together. If there is one thing I don't like more than those damn steps, it is doing that over and over and over again. And the thought of taking one box at a time was going to kill me. Uh, so forget it. Anyway, I did it myself. I was like, no, 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 no. I'll just take all this shit up myself. You stay up and busy yourself. Um, so that was a lot of work. That took about an hour and a half. So it was up and down, up and down steps. So I got a good cardio, trust and believe. Um... So that was it for today. And I walked around outside. Um, her, she had company over. I, I, I know that she was trying to make me feel comfortable, but I felt super weird. I've never, ever in my life felt awkward um, in all company. Um, but, but because woofing, I don't know, it's not really, um, it's, 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 uh, it's really... How can I say this? 
without seeming okay it's um, geared not geared not really it's not that's not a good word it's really um, narrow narrow whatever basically mostly white people do this I was trying to say it correct or politically correct and I was trying to think but it's like midnight so basically what I'm gonna say is you know what thing is a white thing that was so people think I've you know, never thought about woofing before, but because of who I am, I knew one day I'd, I'd do it, um, but it's not. People are absolutely shocked. I mean, when I met my um, Annie, she was great, but when I met her husband, Art, he was shocked. He, he looked at me like, what, uh, what, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing here? And it was just really weird, and I was trying to be me which is super bubbly and a lot of smiling like this and just really outgoing and firm handshake and direct eye contact and just really trying to calm myself. But it got even worse when I said I was from the Bronx. He was just, he was fucking shocked. He was like, oh, it's nice to meet you. Where are you from? And I said, the Bronx. He was like, uh, oh, uh, oh. And it was genuine, like, shocked. So it made me super shocked and awkward. So she had company over and the fact that this is primarily what um, white people do uh, and I'm infiltrating this space that I know belongs to me, I do, but it's so odd and it takes a little time to get used to. So um, anyway, so I tried to just, I just stayed in my room and I watched the whole season of Downton Abbey, which is amazing. Anyway, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's great. Um, his shameless plug of Downton Abbey. It's a wonderful show. Um, so anyway, back to the awkward. So basically, I was just up here like a house servant. It's just ironic. I'm living in a 1912 house servant house. So I felt a little weird, and I don't mean to feel that way. I'm going to work on it. I'm also going to work on these damn bugs. I, I'm i trying really hard to get over my fear of bugs, but there's so many, and they're everywhere. I don't like spiders. I don't, I don't, I, you know what? As I go on, I don't, real, I don't really understand why I've done this to myself, but I know that it will all work out, and I have to work on two things, which is my weight and my fear of bugs. <laughs> And my fear of darkness. So it's a lot at one time. I'm really excited though. Um, just really quick uh, bef before I go. <laughs> Being in isolation is sobering. I'm having so many emotions and find myself crying a lot. And it's only been a day. Well, technically two days, but... I sit down at this desk and I write and all these emotions come out and I think about my past relationships and my friendships and my family and my life and what I want to do and I think it's the it's the separating yourself I, I, I wish this for everyone if you're having some sort of pre-life, mid-life, after-life crisis, I, 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 I wish it, I wish it on you, I, I, people, everyone should do this, I, I don't know, I want so much, and I miss so much, and I'm sometimes sad that I'm overweight, and I feel like you're kind of put in a very separate category, um, of life, you know, and I, I don't know what I'm missing, and it's hard, and every day I struggle, and but I, I really, I really needed this before I start crying again, because it's weird, but that's what I've been doing lately, uh, I'm gonna go, but I really am glad that people are watching and I hope that I share some laughs and tears with you because there will be lots of that. I apologize in advance.
anyway, so it's midnight and I know that I just made a video yesterday, but I felt compelled to let you in on what I've been feeling and only today. Uh, as the weeks come, it'll be a lot of working and you'll see the best and the worst of it all. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Uh, so have an amazing night, morning, and pray for me. Here we go.